Now that summer is in full swing, nothing beats relaxing outside with a good book. So we brought in an expert to share the hottest reads of the season. Isaac Fitzgerald, you know him as the best-selling author of Dirtbag Massachusetts. We love when you're here, Isaac. I'm good so morning. happy to be here. Good, good morning. morning. How are we all? We're Great. doing good. I am so excited yeah, about Craig, this Craig, like, zoomed over and took the book right off the top. Of That's the absolutely here. right. This is the one. You're absolutely right. Great taste, Craig. This is Colson <laughs> Whitehead's Crook Manifesto. It's the second book in his Harlem trilogy. Ten years have passed, which means it's the 1970s now, and we're still with Ray Carney, the main character. He's a family man. He's a businessman. He sells furniture. He's also a little bent. Just okay. a little crooked. But he got out of the game. He did. But what happens when you get out of the game? Oh, they game try to pull you back. back. They they get try you to back pull in. You back. <laughs> it starts with him needing Jackson 5 tickets for his daughter hmm. and turning back to his life of crime. Aww. It's so good. Colson Whitehead is having so much fun writing these novels. I love it. I so enjoy Col I, He's one of my favorite writers. I mean, two Pulitzer Prizes, you know? Yes. Yeah. Um, but what about a thriller for folks who are interested in those? The Guest okay. by Emma Klein. Mm. Let me tell you, Emma Klein's like just gimlet, sharp-eyed take on the Hamptons is wonderful. Mm. This book is beautifully paced. It's eerie. It's sexy. We follow Alex. She's in her 20s. Mm -hmm. okay. She's kind of smitten in, in, in the world, in the lavish world of this 50-year-old man, Simon. And she wants to stay in that world. She's got burnt bridges here in the city. Mm. She's got a dangerous ex. So she wants to stay in the life of the Hamptons. And this follows her around. Yet the like eerie pace to it, really gets speedy at the end. It's great that. for a mystery lover, it's great for a thriller lover, and the sentences are beautiful. It's a great literary work. I you think this one's for book. you. That's a that good one's one. for you. Right. Well, wait, I also want to hear about a little romance, like a little romance read. You like a little Something, love. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Her good side. Okay. I love this book so much. It's so fun. You've got Bethany. Her moms are both former WNBA stars. Okay. They want her to go into sports. She might rather be cooking, even though she's really good mm -hmm. at it. And she's got this friend, Jacob. He, uh, he got a little hot recently. He's looking real good. <laughs> but they're just pals. He's a little unlucky in love, so they decide to fake date. Uh -huh. Get a little tension from their classmates, but guess what? Well, they fall in love. They are headed oh, they to field do. zone, baby. Population <laughs> them. I love this. This book is so joyful. It's so supportive. It's so loving. It's so much fun. That's I good. love that. All right, I'll take this. I love a good romance. Okay, the next one has been adapted into a show on Hulu. That is correct. Oh, it, yes. it came out in April. It, it's mm -hmm. so good. It's uh, It started in April. It's on Hulu. It's Tiny Beautiful Things. This book came out a decade ago. It's a collection of advice columns by Cheryl Strayed, who is amazing all right this is the book i give to anyone in my life who's kind of going through it who's kinda, i'm gonna keep this one i'm not gonna give it to any i don't want to say anything about you who's kind of i love this book so much so it's great on the bookshelf but the hulu series is fantastic the cast is ridiculous they're doing such a good job adapting not only the vice the heartfelt grit and advice in this book but also just doing such a good job of capturing Cheryl Strait as a writer. She's had a hell of a story, so I love awesome. it. Wow. Everyone okay. likes to escape from time to time. Mm -hmm. This next one you call a mesmerizing tale. Oh, it's so good. It's absolutely marvelous. All right, Tanya James's loot. We start in India, late 18th century. There's a young wood carver who's basically taken in by a sultan to make an automaton a wooden statue that moves. He, he has the help of a French clockmaker. Now stay with me for a moment. Because okay. that automaton really exists. This is historical fiction at its really? finest. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh. That statue is real. But let me tell you, the fiction that she writes around it, the mesmerizing, marvelous story that she weaves, it mm. jumps continents, it goes through years. It's all so seamless. This is historical fiction mm. at its best. This is part heist part love story, wow. part adventure, and it all works. It all works. It's a fully baked novel. I'll I love take, it. I'll take that there one, too. There you go. Oh, that really that quickly is before fantastic. you leave us, can you tell yeah. us what you're working on? I hear you're traveling the country. Oh, that is so kind of yes. you. Thank you. All right, so my next book, it's called American Dionysus. It's about a little man that you might have heard of, John Chapman, better known as Johnny Appleseed. Oh. I found out that I absolutely love walking, so how I'm spending my time these days is I'm walking around Massachusetts, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and having fun. Isaac, that's awesome. That's Thank so you so good. much. Thank you so much. We always love your picks. We always love chatting with you. This is fantastic. Yeah. Have Thank a great you. summer. Thank, Thank you. you. No one's All more right, excited see, about books. I know. You sell a book. But it makes us excited. Nice. I love it. To see his picks again, head to today.com slash books. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.